Welcome to Electron Online, and now we're going to prove to you where these formulas for lowering the power of C actually came from, how they were derived. Sometimes those are exercises, and you need to know how to do those, or just for your general interest so that you know that these are legitimate. All right, so where did this come from? Well, it all goes back to this equation, or at least uh, this identity, where we have the cosine of a plus b. And if you remember what that was equal to, that's equal to the cosine of a, cosine of b, and if this says plus, then this becomes minus sine A, sine B. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to call that A plus A and see how that changes. So when we call this cosine of A plus A, that is equal to the cosine of A, cosine of A, minus sine of A, sine of A. And of course, we can simplify that by saying that the cosine of A plus A is simply the cosine of 2A, and the cosine times the cosine is the cosine squared of A minus the sine squared of A. Now the next step is to go ahead and solve this for the sine squared of A. So we move that over here. So we have the cos, oh, not the cosine. I want to move the sine over here. So the sine squared of A is equal to the cosine squared of A minus the cosine of 2A. Now we're starting to make this look a little bit like here. We already have the sine squared. We have the cosine of 2 times the angle. Now we have to make one more change. Remember that the cosine square of A plus the sine square of A is equal to 1, which means that the cosine square of A can be written, the cosine square of A can be written as 1 minus the sine square of A. So if we make that substitution into this equation, we get the following thing. We get the sine square of A is equal to, instead of this, we're going to write that. 1 minus the sine square of A minus the cosine of 2A. And now we're going to move the sine square of A to the left side. So now we have the sine square of A plus the sine square of A is equal to 1 minus the cosine of 2A. And I think now you can start seeing the resemblance between this and that. We're going to add these together. So now we have 2 times the sine square of A is equal to a better square. A 1 minus the cosine of 2a, and then if we divide both sides by 2, we get the sine square of a is equal to 1 minus the cosine of 2a, all divided by 2. And that's the formula that we have over here. It looks exactly the same, except we used x instead of a. And of course, that's the formula that we use to lower the power of one of the sines for the sine function, the cosine function. In this case, it's for the, the sine function. In the next video, I'll show you how we got the equivalent equation for the cosine square of A. Again, similar kind of approach, so if you'd like to see that, stay tuned for the next video.